Last time in math. He's feisty, he's cute. And he looks like Elmo. Please welcome Mr. Ones. No, Mr. Ones, wrong spot. There you go. This would have been wrong here. This is absolutely wrong. We don't have 35 blocks. We have 305. Please welcome Mr. Tens. Nope. One at a time. We have 400. Okay, so we have 400. And then two tens makes 20. Please welcome Mr. Hundreds. Last but not least, we have a beast. He's weighing in at the size of 10 Mr. Hundred. Please welcome Mr. Thousand. Together you get 32. 332. And there you have it everyone. Our starting, our starting lineup for base 10 blocks. You gotta love this song. I mean, it's a classic. It's also a good introduction to what we're doing next, which is money. Now, in this topic here, we're gonna be focusing on using money and showing what money looks like using base 10 blocks. Let's go back to our base 10 blocks page. Where is it? Right here. So remember the base 10 blocks. We have the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Now what we have to do is look at this money over here, and, and I, I apologize, it's an American cents and they don't look exactly like Canadian cents but close enough so if we start with these um, coins over here and we were gonna match them up with these place values let's let's kind of use a little bit of logic let's start with a penny now a penny is worth one right it's one cent so where are we gonna put the one cent well let's decide here we can put it by the thousands no that doesn't make sense how about the hundreds no no it doesn't make sense how about the tens no. How about the ones? Yeah, that makes sense. See, look, you have ones over here and you have one cent over here. So it makes sense. Now, remember these little blocks here, these units, these ones? They're worth one. And in money, it's worth one cent. So what if we take 10 of these one cents and stick them together? Kind of like this. One cent, two cents, three cents, four cents. What do we get? We get 10 cents. So let's go find our 10 cents over here. It's, I think it's this one. So we'll put it down here. And every time you see one of these long lanky bars the tens it's going to symbolize a 10 cents like a dime now what about a hundred now what is a hundred really let's take a look at this this hundred over here well a hundred could be looked at in a couple different ways it could be looked at 10 of these bars over here you have 10 20 30 40 and if i keep going i'll get a hundred so that's kind of like saying how many dimes well if each of these is a dime that means we have 10 dimes and how much are 10 dimes? It's, it's a dollar, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, all the way up to 100 cents, which is a dollar. Think back to the skip counting unit. Another way of looking at it is by counting each of these little blocks over here. So if you count these separately, you're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you can see that will be a waste of time because you could just skip count by tens and get to the same answer, which is 100. So what's 100 cents? If I'm going to count these all by themselves, it'll be 100 cents. Think back to the last unit. 100 cents was still a dollar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dollar over here because a dollar is worth a hundred cents. Makes sense, right? It wouldn't make sense to put the, the dollar here because we already have the penny there. Why, why would you put two things in the same one? They're, they're not even worth the same. So I'm going to stick it where the hundred is. Now what are we going to put by the thousands? Well, let's say I took a dollar. How much is a dollar worth? Well, a dollar is worth a hundred. Okay. So how many hundreds or how many dollars will I need to get up to a thousand? Well, let's skip count again. Let's let's review skip counting. Okay, we have 100, 200. I, I want you to point your fingers. I want you to count on your fingers as I count along. So we have 100. You should have your thumb up. I want to see your thumb up. Everybody put your thumb up. You have 100. That's for $1. 200. I want to see two fingers. 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So how many fingers do you have up? You have 10 of them. So that's $10. So let's go find the $10 on the side here and let's put it right there. So the penny is going to be a ones, the dime is going to be the tens, the dollar is going to be the hundreds, and the thousands is going to be represented by a $10 bill.
Now looking at an example like this, it says represent the following money using base 10 blocks. So what are we doing? We're representing the following money using base 10 blocks. So if I had a 10 cents over here, then I will have to show what it looks like in base 10 blocks. Now you could do it the same way you did the last lesson. You could underline each place value and then show the corresponding amount of blocks. So in this case, you would have, you know, zero ones. Remember, these are the ones ones and these are the tens so we need how many tens do we need we need one ten so all I'd need to draw really is just a ten one of the long skinny ones and zero one so I don't draw anything and this would be ten cents now let's go back to here and see how that matches up remember ten cents ten cents was in the tens so it makes sense right they match up this is ten cents and that's 10 cents. They're both the same thing. Well, how about 20 cents? Well, in 20 cents, we need two tens and zero ones. So we're going to have to go two tens like this, two of the long skinny ones, and then zero ones. This is 20 cents. How about 25 cents? Now, 25 cents is almost like 20 cents. We still need two tens. So I'll still need two tens. So I'm going to draw them here. The only difference now is look, I need five ones. So I'm going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, those cute little, little animals. So you have five of them over here. You got five ones and you have two tens. How about 63 cents? What does that look like? Well, the same idea applies. You still have six tens and three ones. So you're going to go ahead and draw six tens. I'm, I'm going to have to squish them. They're going to be short little tens. Three, four, five, six of them. And then how many ones do we need? Take a look. Where's the one spot? It's right here. So we need three of them. We're going to go one, two, three. Okay, so these are slightly harder questions. But look what you're going to do. I want you to, whenever you see the word dollars, whenever you see this word over here, don't let it bother you. Split the dollars and cents apart. You know what dollars are worth. Remember what the dollars were? The dollars were right here. Let's go back to currency. Where's the word currency? It's down here. So remember the dollars were the hundreds. And remember the, where were they? The dimes were the tens and the pennies were the ones. So you have to memorize this. You have to know that ones are pennies and that the tens are the dimes and that the hundreds are the one dollar bills. Okay. So let's go back and apply this logic to the question. So we have one dollar and 32 cents. We have one dollar and 32 cents. Split it down the middle. Let the dollars be on their own and let the cents be on their own. So we have one dollar. What does that look like? Well, going back to this, what's a dollar? A dollar is the hundreds. What do hundreds look like? They look like this. How many do I need? Well, it says one dollar, so I just need one hundred. Thirty-two cents. Look at the thirty-two cents. What does that mean? It means I need three tens and I need two ones. So I'm going to go three tens, long skinny ones, one, two, three, and I need two of the ones. So I need one, two. This is one dollar and 32 cents. Let's go on to the next one. Four dollars and 24 cents. And it shows we have four dollars right here. That's 400. Oh, oops, I'm coloring too much here. 400. So we have four dollars and 24 cents is going to be like this. So we have 10, 20, and then four. Four what? Four ones. So we have one, two, three, Four. Let's look at the last one. Nine dollars and seven cents. So let's do this here. We have nine dollars. Oh man. Well, good thing I got magic because. Hey, you want to see something cool? Bam! There they are in all nine of them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What else do we need? We need seven cents. Well, don't make these long skinny ones. Don't make the tens because we don't have any tens. It's just one number. We have seven cents. We have seven pennies. So I'm going to have to squeeze it in the corner here. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you have it. When you have dollars and cents together, split it down the middle. Do the dollars separately and do the cents separately. Let's try some. Well, now it's your turn. You do some examples. I lied. One more question here before we move on to our own. So here in this picture, I'm, I'm showing you a picture of money and you have to represent it using base 10 blocks. Now in this one, don't panic. Just take it step by step. First of all, figure out how much money you have. And then from there, you can draw the block. So let's count the money first of all. Let's count the biggest or the largest uh, denominations. So we have $1 
dollar, one dollar, and another one dollar here. Ha! Ah, don't get fooled here. I got U.S. dollars and I got Canadian dollars. So I have one, two, three dollars. Let's write that down. Always write your thing. Always write your dollars and cents down. So you have three dollars. And how many cents do we have? So we're done the dollars. Let's move on to the cents. We have twenty-five, fifty, fifty-three. So we have fifty-three cents like that so let's draw this out what does three dollars look like well it looks like this three of the hundreds and what does 53 cents look like looks like this we have five tens five tens three four five and we have three ones so we're gonna do one two three there we go. Three ones. We have five ten. This is three dollars and fifty three cents. Now it's your turn. Here's your first example. I want you to take this amount of money and use it to represent base 10 blocks. So uh, just a keynote here. This here, these two here are both dimes. They're both worth 10 cents. These are pennies. These two are quarters. This is a dollar, another two dollars over here, and a five dollar bill. So you're going to put this all together, draw the base 10 blocks, pause the video, come back when you're done. Okay, we're back. So what you should have got here, let, let's count the dollars first. So we have five over here, six, seven, eight dollars. So again, we're going to write it down. We have eight dollars. Did I count that right? Five, six, seven, eight dollars. So we have eight dollars. And uh, how many cents do we have? So we'll do the cents separately, remember. Twenty-five, fifty. 60, 70, 73, 76. So we have 76 cents on top of those uh, $8. Now I'm running out of room here, so I'm going to remember this. I'm going to write it down here in a second. $8.76. So we got $8.76. So how do we show that? Well, what, is eight, what do $8 look like? They look like this. Here's $1.8. 76 cents look like this. You have seven tens, you have six ones, and they are, they're adorable. You, know, you got six of them. And this is $8.76. Let's try one more. Now take a moment, look at this picture, and I want you to tell me how much money this is. And once you figure that out, I want you to actually draw the dollar bills. Okay, we're back. Looking at this now, what do we have here? Remember, do the dollars separately and do the cents after. So what do we have here? We have $1, $2, $3, $4. So how do we show $4? Well, we could just write $4 to begin with. Now what do $4 look like? Well, they look like four loonies, right? Our loonies are circular. We have $1, the second dollar. We have the third and the fourth. Now on top of these $4, what do we have on top of that? We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 cents, and another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 55. So we have 55 cents. And what does 55 cents look like? Well, you could draw 55 pennies. That, that's not really in, very efficient. You could draw probably uh, five dimes, right? These, these are all dimes. So this is like one dime, two dimes, three dimes, four dimes, five dimes. Okay, so remember, these are like dimes. We have five of them. You could draw five dimes and then five pennies, but that would take too long, you know, too. So what's the faster way? Well, think back to skip counting. Remember, we can get to 50 right away by drawing quarters, 25 cents, and then another quarter. Hey, look at that. We have already, we have 50 cents, 25, 50. Now we just need five more pennies. So we're going to go um, one cent, two cents, three cents, Four cents, five cents. Even if you want, you can put circles around them. That's that's not the point, though. The point is you know how to show it in pictures. And that's it. That's lesson two, showing how to represent money using base 10 blocks. Great job, guys. Keep working hard at this, and I'll see you in the next lesson.